Hello, everyone. Uh, I hope everyone is doing great. I'm um, here today actually to talk about virtual reality and how to get started into this world. So um, I was thinking about maybe presenting uh, some stuff about Oculus Quest or maybe augmented reality coupled with, uh, with, sorry, virtual reality. But after all, I will go ahead maybe with some universal stuff like web VR. And uh, I will go further uh, next with some about Oculus Quest integration. So uh, I will go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about um, what is XR. Uh, right now we have two main fields, which, which are actually augmented reality, uh, about uh, markerless, uh, about actually markerless augmented reality, then marker-based uh, augmented reality. Then we have virtual reality with headset and the mixed reality like HoloLens and other stuff. Uh, what we have here is uh, virtual reality. What we will discuss today is virtual reality. And uh, we'll talk about difference between native uh, virtual reality and uh, actually universal or uh, some standard stuff with web XR. I don't know if uh, everything is OK. Do you hear me and everything? Everything is great for you. Sorry, thank you, Paul. Thank you. Okay, great. So, um, uh, for native, uh, actually, I will uh, go further as it is a workshop. I will go further. I I will maybe share with you uh, some samples, and I will share my screen so uh, you will uh, have a look. Uh, into in depth actually about uh, virtual reality and uh, how to set up a new project uh, with WebGL. So right here I have Unity Hub that you can download. Uh, sorry, I I don't know if I shared already my screen. No, no, okay. Not the uh, not the screen I want. Okay. Yeah, actually, I was. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I was trying to share another screen, so uh, I just stopped it to sharing. Sorry. Uh, I will go ahead and create a new project. As I said, here is Unity Hub, the latest one. And uh, to show you, I have many installs of Unity. So uh, if you lack any version, you can just go ahead and click add, then you can see the version of Unity. Here, I will go uh, ahead with the uh, this version, uh, 21, 21, 1, 7, uh, 17, sorry, F1. Uh, I actually WebGL. So if you don't have it, just click here and add WebGL build support. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new project. Let's say I will app start VR. Oh, okay, just rendering here. Taking a bit of time, so I will share with you meanwhile. Uh, sorry, another screen. I bring you back. I'll show you uh, the uh, different steps. We'll go further by installing Unity. It's uh, I assume it is done. So uh, just install Unity, add WebGL, then we'll configure the registry and uh, manage uh, our package manager to have WebGL, uh, WebXR export and WebXR inter interactions. Sorry. Unity is taking a bit of time, and there is some cups. Oh, I sorry. Uh, taking time. So uh, waiting for Unity starting. So I don't know if you guys have any question about 
virtual reality and augmented reality is there. Everything is clear for you. Uh, I don't know if uh, Yunt is here, but I still can answer if you have any questions. So go ahead and uh, ask whatever you want, and I will try to answer. So uh, here we have Unity. I will put this here. And uh, I will go ahead, then just switch to uh, WebGL. Oh, yeah, I forgot, actually. <laughs> I am working as a mo mobile developer and actually a head of software engineer with uh, Mozart. And I'm doing some other cool stuff uh, about VR and AR outside as a side project. I also launched some startups like Caviar, like uh, Caviar and uh, Calamar, actually here in Paris. And uh, I'm trying just to push as, uh, as I can. So I'm really excited about uh, this field. And uh, sorry, I was just going further with the uh, conference and I forgot just to talk about myself. So thank you. Glad you asked. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, so here, as you uh, will see, actually, um, Unity is starting. So I will go ahead with uh, adding the uh, tools we need. Asset Manager has been replaced by Package Manager. So here I will just click here and uh, sorry I will just configure my where is the configuration here okay advanced configuration uh, uh, go ahead and sorry uh, uh, copy the uh, registry everything is will uh, actually uh, everything will be available in uh, a repository and I will share the links with you so I uh, maybe by lack of time I can't uh, just show you everything but it's quite simple I will just copy the URL of a new registry from which I will bring the version of WebXR and the scope I will take this one out there okay save Check the okay, and I will be back actually to uh, package manager. I'll select here my registries as I added the registry. I will add this one, import it or install it, and web interaction as well. Those packages are in preview, so uh, uh, doing so is quite, um, you need to be uh, aware of uh, the fact that they are in preview mode, so uh, just be aware of any uh, issue you have from my side. From my side, sorry, I don't have any issue, so uh, it's quite stable. You have another option to import everything here is just to go uh, ahead by selecting the uh, plus here and uh, just adding from git URL. And I provide already the uh, URL here. Here, if you add from git URL, just add it here. Otherwise, it's just a new registry you, uh, you should have and you should add. Yeah, everything is okay. Okay. I'll put this one here so you can see my Unity. 
I will go ahead and uh, I don't know if any 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 uh, of you people are just trying uh, meanwhile with Unity or uh, um, just going too quickly. So if you have any question about what what I'm doing, uh, please ask in the command, and I will uh, try to uh, answer maybe later. Uh, here in asset after importation, I will have a sample scene. I will select the scene dessert. These are sorry. Um, I will close this one, Inspector Command Shift B, to have um, to have the options about place settings here. Uh, I will select. Those are just quite a simple option to configure the uh, final project. So please be sure you have GZIP here as compression format. The compression fallback if anything goes wrong. Wrong, sorry. Uh, just select this one. In the resolution and presentation, just select. Uh, no, sorry. Before that, I've already forgot. We need to import WebGL template. So, window WebGL import template. And yeah, we should activate actually WebGL as well. And uh, in the edit project settings. Yeah, uh, WebXR here, we should enable WebXR export. So um, you can maybe later just uh, try and uh, work a little bit with those uh, configurations. So for now, I will just uh, put that to default. Uh, I will go ahead and uh, select the player settings as I'm working with WebXR 2020. I will select this one. We're sitting is everything is all right, everything is okay. I haven't forgot anything. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I believe everything is okay. So uh again, just shift. Please switch the platform as uh, I've already said by the beginning. Click build. Go ahead and maybe select build as uh, an output folder, let's save, and voila. So, yeah. Oh. OK. I don't know. I, I thought that I forgot something, but it's uh, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it plays. Uh, I'll try to answer if there's any question. Here. Okay. I believe that I'm doing now is site in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Actually, I, I'm trying to uh, build something uh, in virtual reality that is already supported by virtual reality browsers, and that could be uh, exported into your website or into, sorry, this little guy out there. Um, I don't think that I can have time actually to show you all of this, but having the binary as an output will be, um, uh, this is the big deal here. This is the big deal, just exporting and configuration, etc. then you will play with um uh with uh, asset etc and uh, we'll have actually you will put the mechanism of your game or of your website then you the exportation is okay actually you can export it into oculus quest or into your uh, own web, web browser i will try to speed that because i don't have too much time i think uh, okay where is the build yeah no I'm waiting for the video. So just uh, waiting for the build, I will try and uh, and install my server, sorry, uh, to have to put this into uh, 
production mode, you you will need actually some uh, some stuff. It was my uh, my thesis. Ls. I have CD up start. So go into your folder. Uh, clear here. So we have this build folder. So go ahead, CD build. NPM install global HTTP server. This one will help us to uh, launch our server that will bring our experience into life. I will install it globally. Then I will, uh, okay, it will take a little bit of time. Yes, sorry, I forgot one little step. Actually for installing everything here, you need NPM. So you have to go ahead and install maybe uh not maybe actually surely you need to install node so uh I'll go ahead here node download so just as simple as that download here and select the platform you want i'm on mac so here up and install it i already have that so i will just uh i will just interrupt the download sorry then I have not, I have uh, what is I believe this uh, now I, I, I need maybe a certificate because actually our experience needs HTTPS. So to have an HTTPS experience, we need the server and the certificate. We'll have something uh, simple for this experience. I will just suggest one little command here with open SSL. Where is my cursor? So I will request just a new certificate uh, for my computer. You can leave this blank here. And the common name, you can just say, I will have uh, my experience on local. So 131.001, OK, email address. Uh, I believe, yeah, I could now launch my server, I think. Yeah. Uh, just. Guys, I'm just turning here because I have the other screen with the uh, comments. So uh, I don't just waste time uh, because I don't have too much time for the workshop. I believe this one should be uh, taking more than one hour normally. So uh, right here, you have the command HTTP server minus S minus C for the certificate. And uh, I'm launching it minus S as the HTTP. So here, enter. You have everything is OK. I have my experience is available on 131.001. I will bring everything into, uh, I will show you. Oh, no, sorry. I can just bring everything because actually Unity is struggling. Unity is already struggling here. I don't have my bill. Sorry, guys. So, uh, uh, OK. I don't know if uh, this is taking too much time. Okay, I will uh, try it in, oh, maybe I will select another binary and if this one, uh, actually the Unity will uh, be ready, I will be back and show you the same thing. Actually, it's the same thing. I have some other project. I expected that I have, uh, I will have some delays with Unity or with the streaming. So I already prepared something. Uh, this one will just take time to export something like, like sorry, like this one, like uh, uh, well, my C. That actually it will exporting uh, it will be exporting something in index HTML and it's a website. It's a simple website. Less, so I will take maybe I don't know this one. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I will just copy CD, CD build, ls. And as you see here, guys, I have my index.html. I will, uh, yeah, HTTP, I will have it here. And it's S, I will kill this one. Then I will copy my address, I think I lack time, Firefox. 
now Unity is trying to compile another one. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, 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 and okay. And I will launch a new tab here. And voila. You can see actually my experience right here in uh, virtual reality is 60 frames per second. And as I'm on Mac, I don't have my NVIDIA. Uh, so uh, I'm not able to uh, just work uh, with AR or VR. So uh, that's it, guys. Actually, sorry for the Unity uh, building. It's nothing. You missed nothing. Actually, it's just the same thing you will have in uh, output. And you will have something like this after Unity is finishing. Uh, the bill will have index certificate as a HTTP server is generating and the template data and uh, the key for the uh, for the certificate. So have I missed something? Yeah, as I said, you have something into your browser like this. Um, what I'm suggesting uh, su suggesting sorry for the uh, next steps is a frame. Uh, if you are a hard code uh, developer, so go ahead and see, uh, take a look at a frame. It's just uh, a huge potential out there. Uh, Oculus or any integration, as I ha already have in my uh, in my game, I uh, actually I'm developing some games here. So gate, page, etc., caviar gate, uh, jewelry, everything here is, uh, for example, targeting Oculus. For augmented reality, you can check Spark AR or Lens uh, for from Snapchat. And augmented reality, of course, you can check also AR Foundation with R Core and, and R Kit. Uh, this one is for Apple, and this one is from uh, Google. And before, yeah, if uh, actually it's quite expensive, but there is a before yeah if you uh, need something simple but a little bit expensive and voila if you have any question please go ahead and uh, and i will be happy to uh, answer your questions i will stop sharing just to uh, or maybe we'll wait for unity So uh, if you have any question, please go ahead. I don't know if uh, I believe it's quite uh, complex as first time. Uh, I was also going further, uh, but everything is clear if you repeat that many times and you will maybe customize your experience. Um, I will be uh, glad maybe if you have any question, I will answer. What are your thoughts about on uh, other use case and games, like social game commerce? Yeah, actually for VR, uh, it is no limit. Uh, I have been working on, uh, especially on commerce, and uh, it is quite uh, a huge field and a huge potential out there. Like, people are just putting everything now into web to target many platforms, you see? Because actually, when you uh, use Unity and integrate, for example, Oculus, you will target only Oculus. Uh, for e-commerce uh, people into uh, marketing, marketing are just thinking about targeting multiple users at a time. So they are bringing some web experience to target everyone in the market, you see. And if you don't have any headset, you can just uh, use your browser like I have already uh, done here. So um, just to complete the experience, you can just um, put your website into uh, one, uh, for example, one provider, I don't know, or uh, OVH, GoDaddy, I, I don't know, anything, and just put an HTTPS for that. And it will be, uh, you can, for example, target uh, people into uh, into e-commerce, into social, into uh, gaming, I don't know. It's up to you. Actually, there is no limit. The only limit is imagination, imagination, sorry. What is called? 
for the uh, experience, like uh, you are talking about uh, web XR for the technology or for the provider? Ah, sorry. Uh, actually, it was for uh, an internet client uh, here in Paris. It is named uh, GC Duco. I don't know if you know about it. It is GC Duco, but actually, it's not. Yeah, they are huge. Actually, they uh, were targeting some people into uh, uh, just to mention um, uh, to to have an experience and uh, to have an idea about how they are planning the next generation of the panels. Um, I can just talk uh, more about the uh, more the experience, but it's actually an internal uh, for the client. But in commerce, actually, there is a huge field. And numbers are there, uh, numbers, sorry, and statistics are just showing that this market is um, it just in, it is just huge and keeping, uh, keep growing. Sorry, guys, I will sh share with you. And if you have any question, please go ahead. But I will share with you just right now as Unity finishes building finally uh, what you will have here. So uh, App Start VR build, you have the build folder, but it's not this one, this one, the parent, you have index. So I will uh, CB, CB, CB App Start, CB build, and I will kill this experience here. And less, yeah, and I will launch a server as I'm putting everything into my uh, local host. Uh, it's loading. Did I forget anything? Okay, I, I think that Unity have maybe had some issue but why exporting the file okay advanced accept the risk oh, no it's okay i don't know it's not loading in the first time so uh, as you see here is the uh, second the late, latest experience experience i showed you so um, Nothing special, nothing fancy, but you can just play with the environment out there. You can just uh, go ahead and see, for example, for example, the interactable. And uh, sorry, I will go back to inspector. Just lagging like hell. Um, and maybe um, you can, for example, mouse drag. This is an interaction. So we can just go ahead and modify this or just create your own interaction script and uh, it will be uh, a huge experience. It just target the field you want, guys, and uh, this is just getting started. Getting started, sorry. And uh, as I don't have too much time, I uh, will maybe, um, no, surely I, I will share the source code maybe uh, with you, and uh, I will put this uh, uh, two steps also uh, with you guys. I already exported that, I think is here and I have my I don't know if uh, you have my uh, my PDF and I will put everything into place for you guys uh, I don't know if I can share it right now so nothing special I will go ahead and export everything again to PDF and I will include the notes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it was in the uh, desktop and I haven't seen that. Fine. Okay, fine. Great. I will be back to the uh, 
here and I will try maybe, can I share something? I don't know if I can share. But uh, I will maybe send it to the organizers and uh, they will share it. Uh, uh, actually, after the uh, after this uh, this talk and after this workshop, because I, I I don't think that I can share it into the chat. Okay, no, I don't know. So, uh, any other question? I'll be glad actually to uh, to help or to answer. Uh, if you have any question about AR or VR or XR or WebXR, it's up to you. I will try to answer. Okay. So, I think again, uh, it will become mainstream. I can't answer this question, but uh, I think that I, I actually two two weeks ago I uh, I was in a conference with a Spark AR into Dribble, and they uh, I think that Facebook is planning to launch uh ar glasses and when it will become uh, affordable and less heavy like the oculus i have and less expensive people will go ahead and just buy everything inside this market like uh, and even right now they are talking about metaverse metaverse is trying to go ahead and trying actually is going huge day by day. I don't know if uh, you have seen some NFT token and NFT object uh, have being sold into metaverse, uh, into VR and uh, into uh, parallel worlds uh, for uh, many hundred or many thousands of uh, dollars. So um, I believe it is on its way and it is taking time to, uh, to uh, push people to just update their habits at it, maybe in the five, 10, 10 years. But uh, it is time actually to go ahead and to have a look into the, uh, into the ecosystem. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, if you have any other question, I will be in the uh, lobby. And uh, thank you for the uh, attention. And uh, again, I, it was a pleasure to share um, my knowledge with you and uh, uh, stay safe.